This unit introduces students to package design. Throughout the lessons, students will view and research many different kinds of boxes, learn what a die line is, and they will learn how to read and interpret a design brief. They will work together in pairs to sketch ideas. Students also learn the correct and safe handling of X-Acto knives and different cardboard construction techniques. They will create prototypes for the project. And lastly, they will create a final piece that adheres to the design brief. In the first lesson, the teacher begins with a discussion about package design. The teacher should have a short PowerPoint ready with many examples of packages. Also, examples of die lines should be included. The class will then discuss design terminology, and students are given a definition sheet, which they will be assessed on at the end of the lesson. Terminology includes die line, product awareness, design brief, and substrate. The teacher then gives the students the design brief, which is the assignment for the unit. In short, the students will be designing a cereal box with the intent of raising product awareness through innovative packaging design. Students are told that they should research packaging. Ideally, they should visit a grocery store to look at cereal boxes and other types of packaging. Of course, they will notice that cereal boxes are almost all the same shape. There's little variation, with just a few exceptions being smaller variety packs, economy bags, and some boxes with windows to see the cereal inside. Students are also to collect examples of packaging they found and thought were innovative or different to bring to the next class for discussion. Also, during the next class, the students should take boxes apart to see exactly how they've been designed and learn how they go together. In the second lesson, the students are divided into pairs where they will sketch ideas for cereal box design. They will hand in at least 10 sketches at the end of the class. Sketches will be assessed according to quantity of different ideas and relevance to the assignment. Teachers should remind the students to review the design brief, but they should not shoot down any ideas. Sketching should take approximately a half of a class period. In the prototype stage, students are introduced to the X-Acto knife. The teacher should demonstrate proper and safe handling of X-Acto knives, as well as the best way to take out and replace blades. Students also should be given lots of time to practice cutting the chipboard, and they should learn different cardboard construction techniques. Pairs of students can begin working on their prototypes. To conserve material, the students can use old cereal boxes for their initial designs and for practicing cutting. During this stage, students will cut and tape pieces together almost like three-dimensional sketches. If the students do make their prototypes from cereal boxes, they may wish to spray paint them a solid color so that they can better see the overall shape. Students are required to make at least two prototypes. In the last lesson, students will choose one design from the prototypes they made to create their final cereal box. They should create a preliminary die line 
through careful measuring and cutting. After all measurements are figured out, students will make a final die line that has all of the glitches worked out. This die line will then be made into the final piece. Students should take care to work neatly. They should use caution with all the tools. For the final presentation, students will be required to hand in a die line and a box constructed from the die line. For extra credit, or as an extended lesson, students may create and design labeling for their package. This, of course, could be a unit in itself. In the end, students should have a deeper understanding of the field of design and everything that goes into designing a package.